Nearly a dozen social media posts, all with the same storyline. Suspicious cars spotted in parts of the Charleston County area. The cars blocking people, and now the community is saying something needs to be done to figure out what's going on and why. News 2's Lexi Moore attended tonight's meeting and heard from residents about their concerns. Residents say they're concerned because for weeks cars have been blocking people off and back roads in the area. The community says something needs to be done. A community concerned of suspicious cars driving through their back roads. There's been a lot of uh, Facebook posts about suspicious activity happening on uh, Garens Bridge, Halfway Creek, uh, Steve Creek Road, Union Road. And they say it's been going on for weeks. Facebook feeds full of people sharing their experiences. Eight or nine different situations, all kind of similar to the same um, actions as far as cars or trucks blocking them in. That's a little. That's a little suspicious. Elliot Middleton, co-founder of Middleton and Maker Barbecue in Allendale, asked the community to gather at his restaurant to address the numerous Facebook posts about suspicious cars driving through the area. Residents shared their own experiences with trucks pulled over and blocking cars in on Steed Creek Road. Somebody came, uh, basically faced at her and got in her lane, and she was walking out over whatever. They were coming towards her. She went to the other lane. Charleston County officials who live in the area say the sheriff's office is aware of the issue and want to help resolve to make residents feel safe. I tell you that the sheriff's office is aware of what's going on and they are taking it seriously. They are, okay? And I can tell you, my guys, the guys that I supervise, are hitting the roads nonstop. Middleton says he just wants the scares to come to an end and people to be safe. Having people knowing exactly, like, you know, hey, if you need to. If you need to do something, this is what you may need to do to remain safe. And also, if it happens to you, remember your landmarks that you pass when you're going through the forest because it's a dead zone back there for at least nine miles. We have reached out to Charleston and Berkeley County officials about the suspicious activity, and they advise anyone if they see anything to call 911. Reporting in all and all, I'm Lexi Moore, Count 2.